I was addicted to sugar. I would eat cheesecake, some type of cake, candy, something sweet, ice cream, yogurt, every single day. If you want to learn how I broke the sugar habit and I no longer eat sweets at all, in this video, I'm going to share my secrets with you. My name is Mia Mishdria. I'm a serial entrepreneur who loves God and who loves helping people. Let's hop straight into the video. The number one way that I quit sugar was I prayed and asked God to help me. <laughs> I did not do this on my own. It was not something that I could do on my own because I truly was addicted to sugar. If I was having a bad day, I would be like, you know, I'm not tripping because I'm going to go and get me a piece of cheesecake and I'm going to be feeling good. Or every day when I would get out of work, I would go and get me some yogurt. Um, ooh, you know, <laughs> get me a Sunday. It was a daily thing for me. It was not just the periodical things. And some people don't eat sugar every day, but that was not the case with me. So um, what really pushed me to get off of sugar was I started to have medical issues and I started to have extreme inflammation in my body. So it was not just a choice that I made because Lord knows I probably would not have gotten off of sugar had I not started to have physical issues in my body. Because I really did enjoy sweets, cookies, cakes, pies, you name it, muffins, oh my God, pancakes. I don't eat any of those things. Um, now, I have tried the sugar-free option, but I want to say that a lot of stuff that they say is sugar-free, you have to watch out because they change the name of sugar and it's still sugar in these items. Like, it's still sugar in the products. You have to be so careful. And the reason that I know it is because I have issues in my body every time it enters into my body. So... The number one thing that I did was I prayed about it because I knew that I had to make a change for my greater self. Now, some of the benefits of me getting off sugar was I have much more energy, much more clarity. My anxiety has reduced because I was very anxious. Um, it was just a lot of things that changed in my life, you know, because I stopped having sugar and even dental. That sugar will destroy your teeth. I had two root canals on the same side and it was the most painful thing that I've ever experienced. And my wisdom teeth, when I got them pulled, which was only about two years ago, um, they were just rotten. And I know it was from all of that sugar that I ate. Like I didn't have a choice. I don't, I don't like pain. I don't like doctors. Um, I, I go if it's necessary. Now, if it's life and death or if I'm bleeding or if something's going on and I have to go, then I do it. And that was the case with my wisdom teeth. They were so rotten, they had to be pulled. All of this was attributed to sugar. Sugar was a problem. But like I said, it, it creates a false sense of uh, feeling good. And so that's why so many people are addicted to it. Because like if you want a quick high, you want a quick rush, sugar will do it. You don't have to go and get on drugs. Sugar can be a drug. It is that addictive. So the number one I think, number one thing I did was I prayed about it. God started to give me strength, but it did not change overnight. This is not something, this is not a habit that's going to end overnight. I, I, I did not stop eating sugar, wake up one morning and I never ate sugar again. It does not work like that. It is a gradual process and there was a lot of failure in the midst of it. There was a lot of saying, you know what, I don't even care if today I'm not feeling good or if I have to go to the doctor to get antibiotics, I'm eating this cake. I went through days and times like that where it was like me knowing I, I was going to have problems in my body, but me wanting the sugar more than that, there were several times that I did that. I was like, you know what, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go to the doctor and get an antibiotic. Now, that wasn't the right mindset. But it was my mindset because sugar was just that in my life that strong. Like, I was controlled by it. And so, um, I prayed about it. And exercising, I feel like, helped me as well. To me, the more disciplined you are in other areas of your life, it kind of trickles down. 
So it was like the more I started to have control over myself, exercising, releasing stress through exercising, because I, I don't feel like necessarily to get close to God exercising. Uh, I don't feel like if you exercise, it's going to really just get you closer to God. But what I feel like is exercising helps you to have more self-discipline and self-control. So, and it's a stress reliever. Sometimes if I'm real stressed, if I go on a long walk, that situation, situation has shrunk. It's smaller. It's not as big because for some reason I'm releasing the stress from exercising and moving my body. So exercising was definitely one of the things that I did. And another thing that I did was I started to educate myself on foods and what was in each food. Like a lot of times we're eating things and we don't even realize what's in it. So to get off of sugar, I call myself going into only fruits. Okay, I'm not going to eat sweets. I'm just going to eat fruits. But what I found was that a lot of fruits still have a lot of sugar in them. So I was still having a problem in my body because I was eating fruits. And I would go to the doctor and I would tell him, and he's like, but you know, fruits are good for you. This was the doctor talking to me. That's why I feel like you have to listen to your own body. You can go by what the doctor says and some things they are expert on, but when you go in there and you're having a problem and it's not making sense to them, but you know what you're feeling, you have to start to do your own process of elimination. And that's when I learned that sugar is in fruits. Like if you start to Google and get online and look at how much sugar is in some of those fruits, you'll start to understand and realize, especially in my case, why you're still craving sugar because a lot of the fruits are just sugar. Like it's natural sugar, and but it, to me, it didn't work for me. So I had to release a lot of fruits. Now, two fruits, that I do still eat to this day that don't give me any problems and I didn't even know that um, they were fruits is l uh, lemons are one of them and avocado. I had no idea avocado was a fruit and I would eat so much avocado and I love lemon water. It is so good to me. So those are not vegetables, they're fruits, but they work for me, but they're not high in sugar. One fruit that's high in sugar is bananas. Bananas are high in sugar. I cannot have a, I can't, I don't do bananas. I was catching a Charlie horse in my leg every time I ate bananas because it just wasn't working for me. And then when I looked it up, I was like, dang, bananas have a lot of sugar in them. But what are we always told to eat? Bananas. So, you know, you just have to know your body and you have to pay attention to what kind of reactions you're having and find out what your goals are. Fruits may not be a problem for you. You know, they're a great form of sugar, um, a natural sugar opposed to going and getting a candy bar or eating a, a pack of Skittles or something like that. But it, it's just like you have to make the decisions that you need to make that's going to help you get on this journey and stay on this journey. Um, so... Yeah, that was part of it. I, I started to research. And another thing I use to replace um, a lot of the sweetness are nuts, pecans, walnuts. Walnuts aren't really sweet, but pecans are sweet. And pecans are not full of sugar. You would think that they were full of sugar. And it's like when I eat pecans now, I was like, the whole time I used to eat butter pecan ice cream, what I was really wanting was the pecan. So it was just like learning about foods that are good for me that I actually like because of what will make doing no sugar hard is not having a, a, a good selection of foods that you actually like and like you feel like they taste good. You, you really have to search and find foods that are healthy that you like. That's going to make it easier. Because if you don't, if you're eating all bland foods and try not to eat sugar and you, you're still desiring it, it's like you have to replace it with something better. It's like whenever one thing moves, you have to replace it with something better. And that's what I did. So I eat a lot of nuts. I eat uh, probably too many nuts. <laughs> I eat, um, like I said, lemons, avocados. I kind of scaled back on the avocados, but I do do avocado. Um, uh, beans, beans or 
People don't realize most vegetables turn to sugar in the body. Onions. I love onions. I feel like when I eat onions, I feel energized after I eat certain vegetables. So you have to figure out what works for you and research and study. Start to Google list of fruits and vegetables that are going to be good for you um, or that you like. Another uh, vegetable that is sweet to me and that is so good, red bell peppers. Oh my gosh. Red bell peppers are sweet to me. If you compare them to green bell peppers, that red bell pepper is sweet and it's good. So that's something else I like to eat. And I can just eat those and munch on those and, and, and really just replace like the candy. Like I said, the Twix, the, the, the Hershey's bars. You know, I, it's a lot of those things that they're just, it's just a non-negotiable for me. And, and what I can say is I'd rather be in a healthy state because my situation is not just me wanting to be healthy. It's I feel good. I can accomplish what I need to accomplish. The worst thing is wanting to accomplish your goals and your dreams. And you don't have enough energy to do it. Because you crashed because you just had a bunch of sugar. Like there's a crash after that. And it's almost like you feel like you can't move. Potatoes. Potatoes have a lot of sugar in them. Like potatoes are my favorite thing. French fries is sugar, honey. Is sugar. It's turning to sugar in the body. <laughs> so I educated myself on those things as well. So basically that's what I did. I prayed and I asked God to give me strength to do it. I did not beat myself up when I was not able to do it in one day, in two days, in one year. It took me several years to get to this point. And like I said, I would have lapses where um, I would just be like, hey, I'm just going to eat this right now. You know, I, it, it's, it's went for a while on my birthday because I always would go and get birthday treats, cupcakes, I, cupcakes. I would order a cake. Like this has been the ritual my entire life. So for me to make this change was like almost detrimental. It was like, oh my God, we can't even have cake on the birthday. But like I said, because of my health condition, because of my body hurting and aching and inflammation and having to get on antibiotics, it got to the point where it's not worth it. So, um, yeah, I prayed about it, changed my diet, found amazing substitutes. I educated myself. I educated myself on what I'm putting in my body. Because if you, one thing about Google is you can find out anything about the things you're putting in your body and you can get a lot of information that's very helpful. So I pray you guys found value in this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you're ready to start your journey to stop eating sugar. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed one.